guys, Mysterious Cat Island, back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Uh, we're heading on to Figaro. Uh, nothing <laughs> on the world map at this point should give you any trouble. Not with four party members who are all level 15 plus. See, the Moon Ring's a throwing weapon. Six experience was not even worth it. I'm just too lazy to run away from the battles. But, you know the way to figure out now. Won't take us long to get there. Once we're there, we're not going to go immediately to the Western Province. Because there's a couple of things we want to pick up for Edgar. You'll see what I mean here in just a little bit. That's that thief knife at work. It automatically stole a potion from the enemy. So you didn't have to use the thief technique. That combined with the thief's bracer, excellent. We're not using that right now. Um, maybe in a boss battle coming up where I really, really, really am interested in stealing something. But right now, we're okay. Uh, some of the new monsters that are appearing, we can go back to the Velt to level up Gao on. I'm not going to do that right now. I might do that off screen for completion sake. Because um, <laughs> I'll be honest, I have never gotten Gao all of his rage ability. It might be something I do this time around, though. So, on into Figaro. Uh, I am going to recommend you have Edgar at the head of your party here. Because you get a couple interesting bits of dialogue. Like, the soldiers will tell you, welcome home. We're going to go, remember that shop where we bought the Bio Blaster and Noise Blaster and stuff earlier? Oh, there's also this. If you have Sabin in your party, you get a special scene. He's going to leave your party for a little bit and wander around. And I am going to recommend that you take this opportunity to not do what I'm doing. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the shops. We can do the special scene here in a little bit. I want to go ahead and get the shops out of the way. So... It says you can't take money from the king. <laughs> Just be quiet and take it. Uh, he will give you a discount. Just look at how much cheaper these items are than they were earlier. Um, we have two new tools, Drill and Flash, both of which are awesome. Um, they are two of my top three favorite tools for Edgar. We're going to go ahead and buy them, because we've got the money. Why not? And we're probably going to go ahead and stock up on items here, because I did not do that while we were in Narche. He also says he can't take money from the king. Edgar responds with the same thing. I, everything here is discounted too. It's like 50% off. Because Phoenix Downs retail for 500 So take the discount while you can. It would be my advice to you. I'm not going to buy that many ethers. I'll buy two ethers. Um, I advise you to have a couple holy waters on you. You don't need them so much right now. But it's better to have them than to not. Yeah. So if you want cheap items, come to Figaro Castle with Edgar at the head of your party. You can't get a lot of items that way, but you can get some. Let's see. Go ahead and talk to... The Chancellor, he also welcomes us home. Take your time and relax. And that's just what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and stay the night here for that special scene. you got to have both Edgar and Sabin in your party to view it. Come here, just say rest for a bit. And it should generate. It's been a long time since I haven't been here. Mm, you shouldn't have expected it would have, really. It's really sad for Seven. Uh, I believe their mother died when they were young. I'm not. I'm gonna stop clicking that pen. Uh, when they were young and their father 
right before Savin left. But I'm not positive. Savin never got the chance to be king. This is a flashback, by the way. So this is supposed to be the day their father died. Which you really see Savin taking this the hardest, but you have to know that Edgar took this hard too. It sucks that they weren't there when he died either. And trust Figaro to the two of us, huh? Which is a possibility, we just don't know. They don't bring that up much later. Everybody's sad, Seven. Yeah, right after they were born. Don't say that. So now you find out how they ended up deciding who was going to run the kingdom. Sort of. Well, not really sort of. Not really an option. This is something you were born into. Oh. That's something we don't know. We didn't know. But Edgar is thinking about his people, about the future. I don't remember if I set my timer again. I didn't! Oh, piece of shit. Okay, so we'll just say we've been on for five minutes now. Yes, they are about to settle who's going to run the kingdom with a coin toss. Sort of. And so if it's heads, Savin gets to go do whatever he wants. If it's tails, Edgar gets to go do whatever he wants. There's a thing about coin tosses in this game. They never turn out quite the way they should. Hiding, creeping back there behind some curtains. They should have been monarchs together. But Edgar let Seven go. And realistically, Seven probably would not have been a good king. 
Like, he would have tried, no doubt, but he doesn't seem to have the head for it that Edgar does. He doesn't think quite as clearly, I don't think. Ten years they've been apart. It's just an interesting little scene. You get to know a little bit more about them. Uh, it's not hard to... It's not easy to miss this scene. Because you're going to come back to Figaro a lot. So if you ever have Seven and Edgar in your party, you're going to get the scene eventually. I don't think there's a time limit on this scene either. I think you can trigger it any time you come to Figaro. And the brothers are back together. How sweet. So yep, just a little insight into their past. And Seven's with us when we get up again in the morning. Okay, that's pretty much all the extra stuff we need to do here. Um, that's not the way I wanted to go. Hooray for me. I want to go out this way. Okay, so if we go back down here, you remember that where we spoke to that old man in front of that lever? It's where we want to go. Let's come down here, talk to this old... Hold on. Nothing, nothing back here? Talk to this old guy? He can take us to the desert beyond the mountains if we'd like. Let's go to Kalingan. That's what they said we need to go next, right? That's in the western province. And we see the mountain, or the, the, the mountain, the castle sinks below the sands again. But, the castle can also burrow under mountains, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not very far it can go right now, because it can only burrow from desert to desert. So it's Figaro or Kalingan, and that's it. Those are your only options right now. He still won't let us down here. I probably built this. Alright, bye. Um, and we are gonna... Oops, no. No, don't put him on the back row. Shit. We're probably gonna put Locke in front again and move Locke out of the back row. And move... <laughs> God damn it. Move Edgar back out of the back row. There we go. Alright. And we're good to go. So, Kalingan is not far, it's just up north here. Got some, some new enemies on this uh, side of the continent. Nothing that we can't destroy the fuck out of, though. Uh, once we get to something bigger, and I have Edgar in the front, I'll show you Drill and Flash. But for right now, this tiny little three-house town is where we're going. Oh, this is cute. No Imperial soldiers. Nothing's on fire. Whoa, that was on fire earlier. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, a dwelling creature. They must have seen Terra. Took off southward to Jador. Now, you could leave right after that, but we're not going to. Okay, so this lady's doubting that Terra was a monster, which is good. Let's see if we can talk to the little girl. She'd stop moving. Awesome. Talk to a couple other people. See an opera at the opera house. Keep the opera house in mind. Sequin dress. Mm, Ma'am, I don't know about that. Um, I don't think there's a lot of new armor or weapons to buy here, which is good considering we just spent a ton of money to buy new stuff. 
We have that equipped. You can do two Moonring Blades on lock. I'm not going to right now. Um, although we don't have Shadow in our party, we are going to go ahead and pick up more Shurikens. Because they are always a good thing to have. Nothing new worth buying here. I think this is the item shop, too. And, yeah. Same scenario. If you didn't buy it in Narche, you can buy it, or if you didn't buy it in Narche or at Figaro, you can buy it here. The discount at Figaro makes shopping there worth it. This lady recognizes Locke. Who's Rachel, though? Used to live in the house up there. No one lives there anymore. Okay. So, if she's asking if I've seen Rachel, where does she live now? Okay, so this is important for later on in the game. You don't have to talk to this guy to, to uh, figure this out, but it is just a little hint as to something that's coming much later. So he's going to build a coliseum. Good to know. Tore up my house, some sort of glowing monster. Whoops, Tara's been here. You can't really go in. We are going to go into the inn and pub, though. Uh, if you brought a three-member party with you, you can recruit Shadow here. You can't recruit Shadow now, though. Because I have four party members. Uh, I feel like recruiting... You will recruit him again later, obviously. Uh, he, of course he's an assassin. I've already met him. Yes, everybody knows. He's obviously not a very good assassin if everybody knows he's an assassin. Okay, so, sorry, just checking the timer, because my phone likes to black out. So, let's go up into this house, they said, this girl, Rachel, that Locke knows used to live in. Whoa, whoa, whoa something's going on. Locke, what, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, flashback. She's pretty. It's almost your... They don't really say. Uh, you could sort of infer that maybe it's almost her birthday. Um, we, we just don't know. An amazing treasure. Okay. And she dives in to save him. Oh no. She she okay? Oh, she moved. Oh god, another female with amnesia! So, Locke's pretty torn up about that, obviously. And it probably doesn't help that her dad kicks him out. She's still alive, at least. Like, yeah, having lost your memory sucks, don't get me wrong, but... Oh. Oh, Locke, baby, no. That's so sad. Thanks for reminding me. As if her parents didn't just throw me out. But it's sort of true. And he just leaves. 
It's so sad. But guess what? It gets sadder. Yep. Ugh. You didn't have a lot of choice, Locke. So as you can guess, all this is a bit important to Locke's backstory. Elixir! Don't think there's anything else in the house. No one's lived here for a long time, they said. And we're getting close to time, but we're going to go ahead and do one more thing before we leave Kalingan, now that we know where we're going, is go up to this house here. There's a door back here you can't reach yet. And an empty bed. You want the stairs, though. Whoa! What is going on here, sir? This is not some Rose for Emily bullshit. I read that story. It was college. Yeah, I've been busy. Ugh. This man creeps me out. That's... Mm, I'm uncomfortable with this. Locke, you're a good guy, but this is a little much. Oh. Locke, there, there are things that are wrong. Like, I get you missed her, but holy shit, sir. Just like, just let her, let her rest, man. And when I was a kid, I thought this was really romantic, and now as an adult, I'm like, oh god, why? Like, I get that he loved her, and that he didn't want to let her go, and that part of his arc as a character is this learning to let go, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is not healthy. Guys, don't do this. Girls, don't do this either. Nobody do this. <laughs> but if you couldn't guess, he's basically, or uh, the old man here has basically placed Rachel into a state of suspended animation. So that while she is technically dead, she's more of Sleeping Beauty type dead. Oh god, he's so creepy. Locke, why would you trust a guy like that? Like, I get you were desperate, but holy shit. Don't get me wrong, I love Locke as a character, but as an adult, I recognize that this is problematic as fuck. But despair makes you can can make you do crazy things. All right. So we're about to leave Kalingan. We're gonna head to Jador in the next episode. We are probably over time already, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here for the day, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next time with some more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Bye.